Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, thank you for tuning in again. For those that are new here, my name's Lucinda. This is Yellow Chic Road and uh, we'll be doing some more luxury videos for you all. Please like and subscribe. Um, and also you can find me on Instagram at the same name at Yellow Chic Road. So today uh, I've got some really cool pieces from the Virgil Abloh men's collection for Louis Vuitton. Uh, basically when he did this spring summer presentation it was back in June last year and it was Wizard of Oz themed and I'm like this is my jam Wizard of Oz I'm obsessed with Wizard of Oz it's like Virgil is living in my brain because his first collection is Wizard of Oz themed and then his second collection is Michael Jackson themed and he is like my favorite ever 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 artist that ever lived so I'm like on this wavelength with Louis Vuitton molding with my favorite movie, favorite artist, very exciting. So I of course had to get uh, some pieces from this, obviously couldn't get everything, uh, that was Wizard of Oz inspired, but I certainly got a couple of really great pieces, so I thought I would share those with you um, and how they came about. So basically, first piece that I acquired was at the end of November. Um, interestingly, with the Virgil collection, they had done a pop-up release in several locations around the world. Uh, so there was like little pop-up stores in October of 2018 that released the collection pre-official launch, which happened to be in January. So there's an October release and there's a January release. And weirdly, um, this particular piece had shown up at my local Louis Vuitton store at the end of November and my CA texted me and said, I think I have something for you. And I was like, coming, you call, I come. So it happens to be a really beautiful scarf. So this scarf has the Wizard of Oz motif. Um, I will do mod shots, but the colors are beautiful. The imagery is beautiful, the print, and it is hard to <laughs> probably appreciate without holding it up completely, but you've got, you've got the, uh, the characters there on the yellow brick road, um, and it's just so beautiful. They actually did a shirt in this same pattern. I will show you mod shots of this on, um, on myself so you can see how it looks. Um, but it's a beautiful weight, beautiful weight. I mean, I don't live in a particularly cold clim climate by any standard. So this one here happens to be a cotton silk blend. So it is just beautiful. So that was the first one. And I had an inkling that this was perhaps something that was part of the pop-up stores and then somehow got filtered through to, you know, pieces that didn't sell at that initial pop-up perhaps got filtered through to some other stores. And that is pure spe purely speculation. I have no idea how that actually came to be, but I got that post pop-up release, pre-official store release. Um, and then the next piece I was interested in was an SLG because I love SLGs and I was able um, to put a 100% deposit down in, it, in the hopes that it would show up and it did. So this little guy came through just after the official release in January and it is the super cute pochette clay with the signature orange chain detail. So I'll zoom you in for some extra little details and up close um, inspections very shortly. So this is a reimagining of the classic Louis Vuitton pochette clay. Uh, you've got the, what I believe is a matte resin, I think is how they've described it in terms of the chain and your little um, fob. So this actually looks like it's one of those sort of screw down pieces of equipment, but you just pop it down in order to hook it onto something or hook a key through, or um, I think it'd look really cute hooked onto a belt loop and then you can put this in your pocket or, you know, just something really cute um, detail wise, especially with that pop of orange. Virgil has heavily um, featured the orange 
in some of the bags and um, it certainly does pop beautifully against the classic monogram and actually if you you probably can't see so clearly but each uh, link has a little LV embossed onto the edge there and it's a really nice little attention to detail it's kind of cool that this does not have any black or uh, pardon me any silver or gold specific hardware so at least it keeps it pretty neutral in that respect um, in, especially given that the zipper itself is also black um, you've got the black leather piping that surrounds and then also on the inside it is a black leather lined interior it's just so cute I just thought it was a really great little collector piece actually um, and Look, I've heard that there's been issues with like the October release uh, hardware with some of this resin uh, being prone to chipping. I'm certainly going to keep my eye on that because that's definitely not what you want happening with any piece, I guess. Uh, especially if it's, you know, again, if it's meant to be used in a certain way and if it doesn't, you know, if it can't handle that. Um, but I think we should be just fine. It's a really cute little guy, I think. And now to the piece de resistance, or what I think is the piece de resistance. Um, this piece, I, as soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, I really need this. I mean, I really want this. And it was my birthday uh, towards the end of January, so I thought, is this, could this be a birthday present for myself? Let's just pass it as that because one did become available on the, um, the website and I thought I'll just bite the bullet if I don't love it I can easily return it it's like it never happened but lo and behold it's still here in my ownership um, it came in this beautiful garment bag and I will pull it out to reveal the Dorothy graphic shirt. She's really beautiful. I'll include mod shots. The finishing is beautiful. The print is just so vivid. Like it's amazing. It's a, this beautifully digitally printed um, image of Dorothy in the field of poppies. Um, and it is the same at the back. And it's 100% silk. It's a beautiful silk almost like a silk twill but I will include mod shots and show you in detail what this looks like on but I was super excited to get this um, and it obviously didn't get returned so that is my Virgil Abloh haul and I hope you enjoyed this I would love to know your thoughts and feedback on the collection um, did anybody else grab anything? And um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.